Hello my isolation buddies, welcome back to my kitchen of solitude. I hope that you're well and that you're rested and that you had a good sleep last night and that you were pumped and ready for today because I know I am and I want to emit all of those vibes onto you. So I hope that you are feeling all the good juju today. Uh, I'm really happy to have you and I've missed you terribly, you especially. It is episode five of Julie and Pierre today, which is very exciting and a little bit crazy. Um, it's a little bit strange to think that we've been living like this for like five plus weeks. Um, kind of like this really weird limbo of like sleeping and then eating and then showering at 5 p.m. and then considering all the mistakes you've ever made in your life and then trying to figure out if maybe you're really good at arts and crafts and then maybe becoming a plant mom and then maybe going for a walk or a run and then deciding that was a bad idea and then sleeping again and then rinsing and repeating this like never-ending cycle of like self-loathing but also like uh, motivation and then like eating your weight in chocolate and then falling into a TikTok wormhole for seven hours. Yeah, I don't know, it's like a really strange time but we've made it to five weeks and we're all still alive so that's something to commemorate oh, and I'm excited to be able to bake with you, you and me, baking together once again. It is the light of my week. Uh, so thank you. Let's get this started. Week five. So today we are cooking Sable Azor. Preschool teacher Jules back at it again with the display. Sable Azor. Azur. Azur. I don't really know. These little chocolate biscuits here. Um, so, it is a chocolate biscuit uh, with chocolate chips in it, um, but it's underbaked. And you might think underbaking a cookie is a mistake, uh, but underbaking a cookie is the best mistake you will ever make. So, just do it on purpose. Outside of the cookie is really crunchy and crispy and delicious, and the inside of the cookie is like soft and chewy and like basically raw cookie dough in the center. I'll prove to you how good it is. <laughs> so in here I've got my cocoa powder, flour and baking soda and you just want to sift it all together because there is nothing worse than a lump of cocoa powder. Actually no I lie there is something worse than a lump of cocoa powder. A lump of baking soda that would be worse. Okay so sift all that together and then put it to the side. Then in this bowl you've got your butter your caster sugar, your light brown sugar, and a good couple pinches of salt. I use pink Himalayan salt flakes because I'm a bougie millennial and I don't accept anything less. You use whatever salt you want. You do you, boo. Uh, and then we're going to soften all this down on the machine with the paddle. Alright, once that is all soft and sticky scrape the sides down and then you want to add your dry ingredients to it so your flour cocoa powder and baking powder baking soda and then just mix it on low to begin with Once it is kind of coming together, but it's not really fully combined yet, add the zest of about two and a half limes. For your chocolate bits, use whatever chocolate you like. I like dark chocolate, so I will use dark chocolate because I think all other chocolate is hot trash, but you can use whatever chocolate you like. And then just mix it on low until it is fully combined. It is all combined like this. A bit sticky, not really. Doughy definitely comes together. You don't want to over mix this, so just mix it until it is like that. And if you overdo it, you're going to make some real tough cookies. And nobody likes tough cookies. Cookie dough is the glue that holds this kitchen together. And I really struggle with 
not eating all the raw cookie dough. You'll probably stop eating it and actually cook some for your sake. I would just eat it now, but I'm gonna do the full process. I'll do the recipe properly. So let's roll them out. All right, so you split your dough into three equal blobs. These are by no means equal. Whoops. Who cares about equality? <laughs> Let's sausage these bad boys up. All right, so about 2.5 centimeters in diameter. So that's pretty fat sausage. And then get your glad wrap. Nice and tight. And then just keep rolling it. Back and forwards like that. Pinch the edges. This. Flip it around a little bit, do some crazy stuff, and then just tie it up at the ends. All right, we've got our three sausages here, uh, all, you know, different sizes, of course. So we're gonna put these in the fridge for about an hour to let them set before we cook them off. All right, it's been about an hour. So we've got this nice firm sausage that we are now going to cut. So he said to cut them about 1.5 centimeters. And then obviously because there's chocolate chips in there, it breaks, but mish it back together. So I think it's worth mentioning he said in his book to arrange them like a diamond. I don't really know what that means. Uh, I think this is what it means. I think it's just for some better airflow. But he said like a diamond. I think that's what it means. I don't really know. I'm just going to put them on the tray like this. Um, and yeah, I, I guess we'll just see what happens. I don't really know how much I'm anticipating them to spread. I don't think much because you're baking them at 160, 170, but you're only cooking them for about six to eight minutes. So that's not very long. There's M&M's everywhere. <laughs> the ones that I put closer together on smaller trays actually came out so much nicer. They didn't like spread as much. So I'd say like put them closer together like that because they're black. They're still thick boys. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited. Sprinkle some more salt on them when they come out of the oven. Just because salt makes them, will just make everything so much better. <gasps> oh, it's hot. Ooh. Okay, take two. <laughs> I've waited not long enough whatsoever, but I am the most impatient person. Person, I am the most impatient, patient, impatient. This is really hot. Impatient person in the world, and I refuse. So, just like, I hope that you can. <laughs> it's so hot. It's so hot. Oh my god, it is burning me. Okay, <laughs> that's what's <awesome. laughs> Oh shit. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Like, 
can you see? I'm gonna do like a beauty influencer thing. Can you see how like it's so doughy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally worth burning my whole soul for. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna try one when they're completely cooled as well. And see how soft they stay. Shit. I gave it a couple minutes on a wire rack to completely cool and now that it has, I can try it. It still feels pretty soft. It's like it's like a brownie in cookie form. Like it's so hot. Yeah. Not for the frame of heart. Very rich very very rich like so much freaking chocolate but the lime really helps like there's a little bit of citrus in there which is really really nice and the salt definitely helps cover them in salt but these are so so good mm -hmm. all right that's episode five done julie and pierre we are ticking away, we are knocking these recipes down. It was such a win. Um, still not very surprised that we're getting wins. This was incredible. I will put all of the ingredients down below again uh, so that you can make them yourself and make them with me and make them for me and make them for your mum or make them for the old lady that lives across the road that isn't allowed to leave her house. Just put them at the doorstep, ring the doorbell and run. Also eat them when they're warm and they're hot and they burn you because it's like you kind of burnt the deliciousness then um and the house smells incredible and uh yeah uh subscribe to my channel i will i upload every single friday a new baked good or baked disaster baked bad whatever and every single monday on my instagram which is a sweet pastry chef life uh, uh, I put up two options every week of which I need your help in deciding what I make. Film it, I will eat the raw goods of it, I could potentially destroy it. hope that you enjoyed today. I definitely did. I loved having you here with me. I love you all and I will miss you until next week. You especially. Bye.